In order to be able to use the floor as an impulse, we need to find the right accommodation in our body that help us to do that. So we're always talking about V position in your feet means collect your heels and keep the toes out and flexibility in your knee and the right accommodation of the hip. Those three points work always together to find not just the right balance, so the way you can easily be on balance, but they work as a cushion to then be able to push into the floor to go to your next transition, to your next movement. So we'll never, we'll never be going to use the arms or the power of the body because this will make us lose the balance. If we're going backward or forward, it's always the same uh, principle of technique. So the right accommodation of your foot, flex in the knee and accommodation of your hip. That if I'm going forward, my back leg will be the impulse into the floor. If I'm going backward, my front leg will be my impulse into the floor. And then to get the balance right away, you need to be able to transition your flexibility. The same flexibility in the knee that was here should be transferred to the next leg, okay? So you will not see up and down, bouncing like this, but you will keep the same level. Whatever you're going forward, backward, sideward. You see that there's always a sideward motion in the hip, but will not affect the level of my shoulders. We're not doing nothing. This energy is always here, pulling upward in diagonal. Remember, there's the posture video right here will help you to remember all the technique about posture because this is fundamental to be able to impulse into the floor. If I'm in the wrong position, I won't be able to do it. So when you're going forward and backward, remember, again, turn out your feet, flex at your arrival. When you're going backward, use the heels also as an impulse, not just your toes that will be uh, going, uh, make you tension the knee, but push your heels and then arrive immediately in the right flexibility, again, in your backward leg. So flex, collect, flex, collect. This technique is exactly the same for men and women, leader and follower. And it's very important for the leader to be able to use the floor because that's the way he, you can communicate to the lady the size of the step and the dynamic of the step. So you project in your chest what you do in the floor. The power you use into the floor and the speed that you use to push into the floor will going to send this message through the chest to the lady's chest so she can answer with what she's doing. Now, when you practice your movement, I always suggest to do this simple technique exercise. Sideward step, sideward projection, okay? While well, then when you are comfortable with this and you see you are have your hand relaxed, but the chest is up, now I show you my profile, up, see? The hip is not in this position. You are all in this projection. After you feel this is comfortable, no tension in your arms to support your balance, nothing, okay? Then you can start to practice forward and backward. Feel the line. Do it with one leg, forth and back, yes? When you feel with one leg is okay, do the next leg. And also start to add your contra motion that is fundamental for the lead and for be able to find the space in the close embrace. So, forward, backward. Forward from here, backward, forward, backward. After you are comfortable with those movements, you can start to combine backward, sideward, sideward, forward. So you have to do a transition between your sideward projection and your contra motion, the contra motion that you need for your forward step, neutral position, contra motion, neutral. You see? It's a coordination of the forward and the backward and the sideward with the contra motion. So let's do the other side. Contra motion, neutral, backward, neutral. Contra motion, neutral, contra motion, neutral, sideward. See? And you have to do it always in a way that you can be relaxed with your arms, but you can keep the right posture. 
If for some reason you see you're losing the balance or you start to be tension in your shoulders and your arms, check again the position of your feet that should be turned out. Check if you are transferring the right flexibility of your knee and also if you are letting the hip joint work as properly. Because if you stop those points and you don't use the flexibility of your joints, you're going to tension the upper body and then there's a way that we call balance in tension because all the body becomes stiff to find the balance. And we don't want that because it's very uncomfortable and for the lady especially it becomes not sensible to the lead. And for the men it's very stiff and uncomfortable. So make sure you every time you turn out, every time you transfer the balance, you flex and you accommodate the hip while at the same time the upper body is doing an upward energy in the diagonal forward, okay? All these simple technique exercise for projection and impulse are great for warm up. So there's never excuse to work on technique because technique is what makes you feel comfortable when you dance and make the other people feel comfortable with you. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson and remember to share it with your friends and to make your donations so we can keep doing videos for you. Será una porquería, ya lo sé, en el 506 y en el 2000 también, que siempre ha habido chorros, maquiaveros y estafaos, contentos y amargaos, valores y doble, pero que el siglo XX... Su...